now we will create a backend for application so for that we need to create a local server so let's download xampp okay for windows and you need to download any of these okay uh, i mean uh, you can download 64 bit okay then uh, second thing is we need to download postman for windows and we can download it for windows downloading started i already have download samp server okay you have to download it now i will start with samp server you have to install it and then we will start it after installing it properly we have to start apache and mysql then uh, next step is we need to call localhost here okay after starting it this is mandatory to start this to create a local server now click on php my admin click new create a database uh, for your application and suppose the database name is booking app okay create now for, uh, first thing is we need to create a table here hotel users okay here we will collect all the data okay let's say starting there will be uh, at least 10 columns must be there now i'm clicking on create first column will be user id uh, which will be always unique 10 it will be auto increment and primary key okay next thing is name worker which is string next email phone number of person Now this is worker, phone is worker, okay so this is done. Now we will click on save and database created. Okay. Next thing is we have to create APIs. So I used to create APIs in PHP. I prefer. Okay. So notepad plus plus. Now here we will create API okay and first thing is it will be PHP then uh, first thing is the host name localhost let's close it first and save as it must be saved here see right yes please
uh, it will be database to config dot php right now you can check the folder where you have to save it you must have to save it inside xamp in c drive create a folder for your application and then here we have saved it okay now next thing is uh, this file is basically for storing your credentials next thing is we need to create host uh, user which is root now next thing is host password and it will be blank by default and last thing is your database name right now save it now create a new file and it will be for fetching all the uh, data okay uh, for posting all the data on database so let's create it now it will also start with PHP and uh, closing bracket save as its name is hotel users dot PHP on same folder it must be on same folder inside at docs save it now here Now here we have to uh, <coughs> now we will start with the if statement if this is a post request okay we are posting all the user data to database okay so this is a post request and we are including the database config.php file here this one for credentials and we can directly use the credential here we have created a connection and we are passing all these parameters now next thing is uh, we have created a query and if the phone number is already there it will show a message like phone already exists okay now otherwise it will insert all the data and in case the data will be submitted successfully it will sh show this type of message and in case of failure it will show this type of message okay so and finally we will close the database so this is the code for uh, posting all the data using api
Now let's move to Postman. We will go to Downloads and click in here. I have installed it properly. Next thing is we have to uh, create an account or sign in. So if you are a new user, then you have to create an account. Otherwise, sign in. Okay. I already have created an account. Clicking on sign in. And here, uh, I am clicking here on my email ID. You can click here and open postman so i have uh, logged in it from my email id now next you have to uh, move to your workspace okay it will be like this initially now you have to click here and maybe you can create a new workspace or you can uh, let's create a new workspace All right, now you can click on plus icon here and close this one. Now you have to run your API here. So it's a post API. As I told you uh, that this is a post type of APIs. Now the URL will be HTTP double slash local host. Then after this, it will be your uh this this uh, basically folder name inside your sd docs okay then your api name this is the api and send a request initially it's showing this okay we need to pass these parameters we can pass these parameters in body form data now first thing we have to pass here is name then email phone address okay name email phone address the these keys and the uh, value you are entering must be same and last thing is number of rooms okay now here we can add some valid data And number of rooms are suppose three okay now after filling the complete information we can click on send and here you can see that registration successfully and the status is 200 also 200 means uh, your API is working fine okay now we will check the database and you can see the database this is the first request when we uh, just test it. Okay. Now this is the data uh, data on database. Okay. Suppose next thing is we want to add duplicate ID again. Phone number exist. Okay. And 
data will be not there so that's all about uh, this